Hi, brothers and sisters. So, God is so good. Praise the Lord. I just want to praise Him for a minute. He's amazing. (laughs) Our God is so amazing and awesome and wonderful. And I just want to praise Him and use this channel to glorify His name. I've always had a passion for the message. God is real. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is here, and he is real. And praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So last night, he gave me a picture of where the hearts of many leaders in the world are today, as well as the hearts of some of the doomsday preppers and hoarders. As I tossed and turned, I heard the words, I've got to have a plan. I've got to have a plan. I've got to have a plan. Then, a feeling of calm and relaxed peace came over me with the presence of God, and I heard the Lord say, I know the plans. Then I saw a vision of a horse breaking, a bottom with teepee, a skull, and a cross with an empty tomb. The horse breaking is a reference to two things— One, to the Egyptian horse and rider thrown into the Red Sea when they were chasing the Hebrews, and two, to the horsemen of the apocalypse called death, which the skull confirms. I once had a dream in which I asked the Lord, what's next? He responded, death, and then showed me a quarter and said, one cent. This is what is currently going on with the coronavirus and the economy. And the vision of the teepee is a time marker that confirms this. Our sister Katie did had a similar vision of a bottom with a dog and pointed us to Exodus 11, where the plague of death occurs, but God says against any children of Israel, a dog shall not move his tongue. I watched her video this morning after I had these visions. The death that is occurring is not unlike the plagues that came upon Egypt when the Lord God wanted to free his people. God's people were saved by the blood of lambs posted on their doorposts as they hunkered down inside their homes. Death passed over them and they lived. Jesus is the Lamb of God whose blood was shed for the forgiveness of our sins on the cross so we can have life and eternal life, the now and the not yet. The empty tomb is a symbol of the resurrection power we experience now as God's people and that we will experience when we are raptured or resurrected to our heavenly home. Death has been defeated. The horse has been broken. 1 Corinthians 15, 55 through 57 says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so I thought this was the end of this video, (laughs) but God knows the plans. And when I typed in Google to search the words, God says, I know the plans, so I could put Jeremiah 29, 11 on the screen while I was speaking, this is what came up on the screen. I've never heard of Shemot Parsha. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I've never heard of that in my life, and I did not type those words into Google search. I typed, God says, I know the plans. God says... I know the plans. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Shema Parsha is the 13th weekly Torah portion of the annual Jewish cycle of Torah, the reading, the Torah reading, and the first book of Exodus. So Shema Parsha is the Word of God, and the Word of God is is God, and God is the Word, and God says, I know the plans. Shema Parsha constitutes Exodus 1-1 through 6-1. This portion of scripture includes God hearing the distressed cry of the Hebrew slaves in Egypt. 
God raising up and sending Moses to lead his people and speaking to him from a burning bush and saying, I have seen the affliction of my people. Now I have come down to rescue them and bring them out of the hand of Egypt into a good and spacious land, a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Moses asked, what if they don't believe me? So God gives Moses signs. Moses says, but I'm not a good speaker. And God says, who makes one to see and hear and speak? I will be with you and teach you what to say. God tells Moses what actions to take and how Pharaoh will respond. God foresees exactly what will happen and gives Moses proofs that God is speaking. God knows the plans, brothers and sisters, and he still speaks today. Keep looking to the Lord. He will deliver us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.